Hello, people, and welcome back to some Battlefield 3. I picked up a new subscriber last week, so thank you very much for joining. I hope you're tuning in on this one. I need some campaign help. I finally decided to put the campaign in on Battlefield. Haven't played it yet, and I'm already stuck. Haven't even passed the first mission. I cannot get through the subway. I jump out the window... I'm and I jump from car to car and I'm hanging there and I cannot figure out what I'm supposed to do. I keep falling off the train car. So if someone could please help me, I would appreciate it. So I'm stuck on the campaign. This video's secondary title, or the other title I was thinking of making this video, I was going to title it Me versus 45 Mexicans and a Swede. Because... Uh, pay attention to who kills me the most or who I run into the most. It's only two guys. I run into Mexican 45 and the Swede for, uh, for most of this game. Uh, this game I was mainly concentrating on just the C and A flags. Anyway. Oh, purchases. I went to GameStop and did some purchases this week. I already paid for Black Ops 2. It's already paid for. Didn't spend much money on it because I traded in four other games. I traded in Modern Warfare 3. They gave me 24 bucks for it. Traded in Battlefield Bad Company 2, Oblivion, Game of the Year Edition, and what was the last one I traded in? Oh, Civil War. I wanted to get some footage of that, but never got around to it, so I decided that. Heck with it. I'll just trade it in. So Black Ops 2 is already paid for. I yeah, also ordered Halo 4, put some money down on that, I'm going to pay that off as the months go by. And I have not decided on Battlefield 3's premium. I haven't decided on that yet. Uh, not that it sounds bad or anything, I just, just haven't made the decision whether uh, that's the route I want to go with DLC for Skyrim coming out and whatnot. So, anyway... I may have to pay myself more. For those of you who don't know, I'm self-employed, so if business is doing well, I can pay myself more, but I typically don't do that because I need to squirrel my money away for the off-season. And seeing as how I mentioned work, I might as well, oh, what the heck, tell you a little bit about what's going on in the real world. I did pass my state content knowledge test that I needed to get into the teaching program at the university I picked and the spring rush has ended spring rush slash everyone's already spent their tax refund I guess I should call it so things are slowing down so I may only have to work a eight-hour day and maybe take the weekends off oh my god there's a there's something new <laughs> anyway we're coming up here what do we got coming here oh I'm gonna go down the stairs here here we go this is Ghost's, one of Ghost's signature moves here. As you see, I'm going to come out here. I'm going to spot this tank because I want to steal at least a few points because there goes Ghost. Ghost is going to go do his C4 thing. I don't know how many kills he has. Maybe he'll put that in the comments. Boom. One tank gone. <laughs> Way to go, Ghost. All righty. Now, here comes a truly bonehead maneuver all right see if you guys can pick out what's going what's wrong with this picture not yet i'm going to capture this flag maybe kill a person or two or maybe die i don't know oh suppression assist oh how about this try and revive someone with a with a spawn beacon <laughs> i think that's right here maybe not oh there it is yeah trying to respawn the guy with spawn beacon there you go there's a brilliant maneuver not forgetting what class I'm obviously running. Oh, come on! Where's the part I want to want to show? Okay, I'm getting impatient. All right, here we go. Now, what is wrong with this picture? Anyone see what's wrong with this picture? I'm going to take off, go over to another flag here in a bit. Does anyone see what's wrong with this? Can you tell? I'm just going to wait here. See what happens. I'm going to take off for this flag. Okay, I'm running. Do you see what's wrong with this picture yet? Nothing yet? Have you noticed? 
Take a look down in the lower right hand corner. Look at that. I've got one bullet in my chamber and I'm running to capture a flag. I've got one bullet. I did, it didn't even dawn on me. I got one bullet. All right, you can probably guess what's gonna happen. Let's go around the corner and see what happens. Oh, a bad guy. Where is he? There he is, a bad guy, shoot him. Oh, shit. <laughs> and I am not gonna win that fight. Ugh. Reload. I need to remember to reload. <laughs> anyway, I found that hilarious. Running all the way across the map with only one bullet in the chamber and dying when I get to where I uh, need to be. As that's to be expected, right? Let's see, what else? I got some Black Ops coming up. I've got some Skyrim. I got a lot of Skyrim recorded. I'm gonna, I've got some campaigns that I'll do some commentaries over, and then I've got some, uh, what do you want to call it? Tips and tricks, I guess you can call it, that I'll do for Skyrim. So I've got a lot of Skyrim loaded, and I got a lot of Black Ops. I'm out of Battlefield, so I need to start recording that. Start recording some more Battlefield. So Black Ops and Skyrim, you will see. I got one more Halo coming up before I need to start recording more Halo. And what else? I got something else for you. Can't think of it. Give me a second here. I got one more topic here. What is it? Oh, now I remember. I just got back from Miami. Miami's a cool town. Never really been there, but it's a cool town. Their monorail, their inner and outer metro rail, is elevated and it goes along the sides of buildings it goes up over taller towers down to lower towers it goes through one building i'm told i didn't i didn't experience that myself anyway it just reminded me as i was riding this metro rail i thought of some of the games i've seen like bioshock goes up and down those rails and whatnot anyway there's my imagination kicking in i went in miami if you ever been to miami or if you ever go to miami in Little Havana, it is the restaurant called Versailles, French name, Cuban restaurant. I tell you what, that is the best restaurant I have ever been to to this date. And I'm talking anywhere I've been, United States, France, any other country I've been to. The best restaurant. It's called Versailles in Little Havana. Check it out. And it's not expensive. My whole meal, big huge pork thing, uh, a Lacone pork something. Anyway... Potatoes, sausage, $10.95. $10.95. It would have been $25 easy here in uh, Denver where I live. All right. This video's a wrap. My game ended. So take care, everyone, and play hard. Talk to you soon. Bye.